The way that these stores get cheap, they make everything a dollar. So you think everything is cheap. Right? Let me show them. It actually looks very pretty. Looks like hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I don't know what this video holds, to be honest. I don't know what this vlog is going to be. Like, honestly, it could be a self care, go self care shopping with me, back to school shopping hygiene shopping i don't know what it holds but all i know is that i'm going to the store right now and i wanted to vlog my little experience yana but basically as you guys know well if you've been watching my channel that for 2024 one of my new year's resolutions is to really be very intentional about self-care which is something i haven't really struggled with that much in like this past year i've been very intentional about it but i just really want to be intentional and be able to say no and realize that it's okay to say no i very much overwhelm myself a lot and i'm taking 18 credit hours again and i'm in gospel choir i lead a bible study i lead worship at my church i'm on the board for a mentoring program at my school 1.3 miles turn right to merge onto i-88 east toward chicago so as you can tell i have a lot on my plate and i know that if i am not intentional about self-care that i'm going to drown but self-care with jesus which i need to clarify because Something that one of my that my pastor's wife said at church today that really or on Sunday that really stood out to me. She was like, "Dang, there's a fire season." She was like, "You know, this generation is one so mile. focused." Turn for Chicago. Okay. She was like, "This generation is so focused on self care," but she was like, "We're so focused on our skin that we're not focused on self care within." And she was like, "How about taking care of ourselves spiritually?" And that just really hit me hard. And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like. Am I, I don't want to idolize self-care, you know, like it's a good thing, but you could idolize anything, anything that you put above God, you're idolizing it. And I was like, I really don't want to idolize self-care. Like, yes, it's good. I'm glad that I'm being intentional, but I want to really be careful that I'm not overdoing it. And so today I have that, you know, in my head as I'm shopping that, you know, it's still okay for me to do self-care and to get things that are self-care, but to not overdo it and to keep God at the forefront of my mind. Um, because I think I'm in a season where I'm just excited that I'm finally like for real content with being like single right now and I think that I've had a lot of seasons in the past like I've had a lot of times where I felt like content but then it always and then I always start feeling lonely again and I'm always like god where's my man and basically I went on this 25 day fast called the year of the bride with Tiffany Montgomery she's the one who runs it and I start when I started out the fast like I went into the fast being like god like I want to get married getting out of this fast or like I at least want to know who my husband is or like know the name or have a dream of who he is just something god and god shifted my perspective to be like instead of going to this fast kind of demanding me like which I wasn't demanding but I was like god please can I just know who my fine man of god is but I felt God like shift my perspective to be like why not fast so that you can be satisfied with me instead and like, pray use the right pray on behalf of your family's marriages and I was like okay God like that's what I'm gonna fast for and I can honestly say coming out of this fast I feel so content with God I feel so much peace with God or let me fix my words hold on let me turn first. turn right don't know what his problem is I'm gonna do what God has called me to do regardless. 
when I get married, I just want someone that can join me in what God's doing in my life. I want to be a partnership. I want to join ministries with someone. I want to worship God with someone. I pray all the time, like, God, please give me a husband that I can worship with. Your marriage is worship to God, you know? So I've never been someone like, my husband's going to join in, you know, all the stuff that God is doing in my life. We're going to have to, you know, be in partnership with one another, but it's never been something that I've been, like, waiting for my husband to start doing what God has called me to do. Like, what's the point of that, you know? So I very much have been someone who's always, if, I'm, if God has called me to do something or if I want to do something, I'm going to do it, you know? I'm not going to wait for my husband. <laughs> what is the point of that? I don't get that. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just excited, though, to enjoy my single season, you know? Um, and to just draw closer and nearer to God in this season. And so I'm on my way to the beauty supply store right now. Well, I'm going to Sam's Beauty Warehouse. I call this beauty supply store heaven because it's a warehouse. It's literally like an Amazon. Like, just all this stuff is like super cheap. But I, I have good stuff. So I wanted to come back. I'm talking for so long. It's just You're just going to have to do with it. But basically, I wanted to come back at school as a new character. And I want us to do like an ombre blonde hair. But it's not ready in time, so I'm just going to need to get a little, like, something for my hair, I guess. And then I'm going to get some sunken stuff, stuff to be able to do, like, pedicures and manicures. And then I want to get some hair growth stuff because that is something I really want to be intentional about um, this year. It's for real taking care of my hair. So anyways, I'm done talking. I will see you guys at Sam's Beauty Supply Warehouse. Bye. This right here is my favorite section. As you can see, everything is a dollar. So we got some hair ties that we picked up. Some combs, I don't really need combs. See, I'm trying to be smart with, you know, what I buy. I did get this little beauty bag thing, $2, six different face masks, giving pamper night routine. We're gonna keep going this way. Oh, new edge brush. Do I need it or do I just want it? I think I need a new one. A dollar. Let's see. What else do we need? Um, nail filer. Do not need that. New brush. Do I need it or do I just want it? I just want it. Let's see. Let's see. Walker bottle. Mm, hair oil. Because you know, I do want to start making my own hair oil. So I think I will need something to mix it. So that's it. Mm -hmm. I tried out some foundation. It was only five dollars. I ended up getting. Oh, I'm not going to show you the color because it's going to look very weird. The color on the outside is deceitful. And then we just got some lashes. Tasha got the classic. I got the gold. Oh, let me show you Tasha real quick. Oh, okay. My sister Tasha is here with me. Don't play with her. She lives by here, don't play. I love coming out here to see her and to go to the store. So we have some blush cleansing pad. No, 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 don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. So we just, this is not what it, but it's gonna look different when we do it at the house. You know, we're gonna fix it up a little bit. So for now, I'm just gonna get products to help my hair grow. And next week when blessing comes, I'll get stuff that's like for the curls, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what they have here. Treatment, moisture and growth. This looks like some good shampoo and conditioner. That looks nice and good. To make a black castor oil is that thing. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, it's blurry. Okay. No more itch spray. That's what the one that I was telling you about. You want it? For the wig? We got her a nice little wig here. Sure, is there a smaller bottle? Uh, no more itch. We can look for more. Okay, I do want that, you know, meow, rosemary. You gotta do, you know, the classic. Mm -hmm. Now, this rice water collection. Rice water split and there's the I got split ends for days. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it smells like. Come on now. Don't play with me. Come on now. All right now. All right, we're gonna get Let me smell it. 
Mm. Let them smell it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is the oil. Don't really know how much money I've spent. Leave-in conditioner. You don't have any of this stuff? No. Okay. Rice water. Itch release. You want this? Didn't you get the other bottle? Yeah, no. Oh. Now into the hygiene section of it all. Pure castor soap. This, that stuff. But I have really been wanting to try the bar soap version of it. And it's only $4.99. Or is this one $12.99? They usually have this in a huge bottle. But I'm going to try this peppermint one and the cast style, the $4.99 one. Let's see. Oh, baby, unscented. Okay, let's try this one. Oh. Baby powder. My, if you know me, you know that I love vanilla. I love all things vanilla and uh, like a oat milk, shea butter, coconut. That type of thing is what I like to go for. Okay, you can press pause. I think this will really help to neutralize because I have a lot of sweet perfumes. Like bare vanilla is very sweet and I want it to kind of, I need a nice like musky almost. I think I'm gonna do this. I have nine. I love like that little coconut type scent. I'm gonna add that. Love this. I don't need any more soaps, but gasoline. Mm. But I have noticed this one it smells expired if you wait for too long. Mm. So we're not gonna do it. Sorry. <laughs> Let me tell y'all the way that these stores get you. They make everything a dollar. So you think everything is cheap. I'm not gonna be able to hear you. You think everything's cheap, but it's not actually cheap. They're just tricking you. They're playing mind games. I wonder if they'll be your mouth. This dollar section right here is gonna get you right at the end. Watch. Mm -hmm. there's lip gloss I'm on. Okay, we'll just walk right past it. Oh, but I had lip gloss on my finger. You don't need it. Cashier number one, please. The wig is looking like. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. And we put it over the clippings. Can you know, show them? It actually looks very pretty. It looks like you just went to the salon. Mm. She's happy. Fresh she blowout. Yeah, it's gonna... just so dark. I think it looks so pretty though. And she had a color for it. Yeah, color two would have been too dark. Just for this one only. Okay. We're going to attempt cutting bangs. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to do... Start with the little... Just do a little bit. Okay. It's already Wait, above the curtain bang. Okay. It already has the curtain bang look, so we don't have to do too much. So let's see, let's just do like right here. And bunch it up. What do you look thinking? I just like my eyes. It hurts my eyes. Okay. Okay, we can still do that curtain bay look and look when we do the hats. Sorry. Don't play. That's cute. Don't play. Let's call somebody. <laughs> Date is that she loves it. <laughs> Show them in the mirror. I'm getting used to it. She looks like a celebrity. Don't play. I have so many colors on right now. Okay, try it with the blue hat. Yeah, we put it on top of her clippings. 
Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Does the wheel does not fit? Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, it's not yeah okay, let's not do that one. Let's try the other beanies. What is your reaction to? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Stop. That's what I did 10 seconds ago. Yes. yes. I'll show them. It does look like your eyes like you're uh, gonna go on a snow horseback ride. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just got off the ski slope. So. Yes. yes. Thanks, baby. Oh. Well. Hey guys, so I'm currently at Marshall's. Um, I decided to come here today just because this entire weekend I have hair clients the whole weekend. So I'm like, I'm literally not going to have time before school to for real shop because the day before school, I'm doing like a little like before school prep with my friend Yari and we're just going to prep for the school year. And then I also want to be able to meal prep for the week. So I'm like, why not just go today? And mind you, I know I spent a lot of money today, but I also have budgeted my money so that I'm able to spend a lot of money today. I've done a lot of hair clients and you guys know, like, this is a blessing from God that I've had a lot of hair clients. Thank God, because I was really struggling financially, you know. But I think I've, I've already paid my tithes. I've already paid part of my school bill. Um, yeah, and I also want to make sure that I'm saving money to give to the poor as well, because I feel like that's something that we ignore. But I want to start doing that when I fast, is to give money to the poor. So I need to budget that and make money as well. But I've already tithed and give money for school and, you know, budgeted my other money. So that's why I'm able to spend money like this right now. But I'm just going to do a little bit more hygiene shopping and I want to get some skincare products. Um, and then some actual self-care stuff. Just a little bit. I think I just want to get some like nail polish and like, that's pretty much it. Ooh. 